Hey, it's Garrett. Thanks for checking out this video. If you don't make this one thing your goal for your recovery, then you're destined to fail. So I just came back from a conference and we talked a lot about setting goals. And one of the common themes was you set a goal for what it will make of you to achieve it. A lot of times we get wrapped up with things that we want, things that we're trying to pursue, you know, accomplishments that we'd like to have, material possessions that we'd like to acquire, and we think too much about that thing. And we set a goal to acquire or to achieve that thing without thinking about the process with which we have to go through in order to achieve it or in order to acquire it. Well, the theme of this training that I went to was setting goals for what it will make of you to achieve it. And this is incredible advice, and I think it really, it very closely relates to our recovery and what our goals should be about in recovery. So if we look at the processes that we have to go through, if we look at the things that we need to learn, the connections that we need to make, the new skills, the new talents, the new resources that we need to invite into our life in order to achieve the goal that we've set, and we look more at that holistic picture of the journey that we have to go on, the person that we have to become in order to achieve that goal, we can get a much better sense of why it's so critical for one, to set goals in the first place, but two, the kind of goals that we need to set. And I think this relates to all of us in recovery. If your goal in recovery recovery is just to be sober, then you can do that with the very limited skills, the resources that you have. You just need a little bit of a support system and, uh, and develop some new habits and new behaviors, and you can maintain that sobriety. But I recommend, and what I've found is most successful, not only in my life, but in many lives of people that I've worked with and interviewed, is setting a goal for what it will make of you to achieve it. Make that goal for your recovery so much more than just sobriety. Make that goal for your long-term recovery to include the skills and the changes and the personal development that you'll have to go through in order to achieve it. If you look at the person that you need to become in order to secure yourself in long-term recovery and secure yourself as somebody that doesn't need those old habits, those old ways, those old substances, those old behaviors in order to cope with, in order to deal with your life, in order to get a sense, a synthetic sense of fulfillment in your life as you escape, as you numb, as you avoid some of those challenges if that's if your goal is not to become the person that doesn't need that then you're missing so much of what this journey of recovery can be about if your only goal is to maintain your sobriety then that's something that you can lose too quickly it can it can go away in an instant but if your goal is to become a person that doesn't need that substance doesn't need that behavior or any behaviors in which you can escape or avoid or numb the challenges that you faced or uh, help it with coping with some of the challenges that you faced if your goal is not to become the person that doesn't require that then it's then your sobriety and your recovery is too fragile so i recommend set a goal set that goal for your long-term recovery and set a goal that is so big it's for the person that you'll have to become in order to achieve that goal think about this the self-esteem work that you'll have to do the self-efficacy the gains in confidence the gain in uh in just your your personal feelings about yourself and your confidence to deal with challenges in the future think about the coping mechanisms that you'll have to develop those new skills that you'll have to develop in order to deal with the challenges and frustrations of life as they come along identifying that meaning and purpose in your life so that the things that you engage in really fill that spiritual cup that emotional cup so that you can get the greatest return from those things that you're engaged in from where you put your time energy and attention if you can identify and you can become that person whose life and whose vocation and whose hobbies are in alignment with something that is your unique purpose that brings that unique sense of meaning to your life more so than anything else if you can become that person and bring that and invite that into your life that's so much more that you're getting from your journey and recovery. And lastly, those connections that you need. What are those, those nurturing connections, those bonds that you're developing with other people? If you have all these things, if your journey to recovery is something that helps imp improve your self-efficacy, your belief and your confidence in yourself, it helps you foster those new connections, helps you find that meaning, that purpose, and it helps you develop those coping skills and those coping mechanisms to deal with the bumps and bruises that come from living life uh, and going through the life experience. If that's what your recovery journey looks like, if that's what your goal is for recovery, you're gonna get so much more. And then it's not a matter of maintaining sobriety or not. It's not a matter of, of always avoiding a certain behavior or making sure it's not a part of your life or not. It's going to be your recovery is so much more secure if it's founded in that much bigger picture. If your goal for recovery is so much greater than simply maintaining that sobriety or changing one behavior. So I challenge you, set a goal for your recovery. Set a goal for that long-term recovery. Of course, take the challenge, take the journey day by day, but look to the future. Look to that person that you need to become in order to be that person that doesn't require, doesn't even want any of those substances or those old behaviors 
behaviors in order to get through the day. Thanks for checking out this video. Please leave your comments below. If you're not a part of our community on Facebook, A Life Unchained, I invite you to please go check that out. Join us in the community so you can join part of the conversation. You can serve others and have others help and serve and support you along your journey. But thanks for checking out this video. Appreciate it.